on him yesterday. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, he's definitely gone then. Um, well, you had a good run together at least. You're right! Uh, whoa, 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 what are you doing? Uh, I'm putting one in the bin where he belongs now. No, you can't put it in a bin. It's e-waste now. E-waste? Yeah, you know, electronic waste, which is any discarded device like a telephone, a TV, a computer, or even a game console. That's a very detailed description, but if I can't put him in the bin, where am I supposed to put it? Ah, well, e-waste must be recycled because... Rad, what are you doing? I'm recycling! No, e-waste can't be recycled in a regular recycle bin. It has to be e-recycled. Goose, you can't just put an E in front of anything and make it a thing. Oh, I E disagree, Rad. E-recycling is a real thing. They've got whole factories dedicated... Factories? <laughs> Say no more. I'm gonna go give Xbox One the game over he deserves. E-waste is the fastest growing form of waste in the world. Last year, it was estimated that 121,000 tonnes of computers and televisions in Australia would reach the end of their life, and that 20 to 50 million tonnes of e-waste would be generated worldwide. That's about the same weight as 500 billion cheese toasties. That could feed Bajo for, like, three weeks. But the good thing about e-waste is it's almost all completely recyclable. But to recycle e-waste, you need a special plant. Not one of these plants, one of these. I've always wanted to go on a factory tour. E-recycling plants specialize in breaking down and separating all the components in e-waste to be reused or disposed of thoughtfully. Usually, this is so difficult, it has to be done by hand. I'm here with Tony, who's an e-recycling expert, and he's going to show us how it's done. But before we begin, you really don't need all this gear. This is not a dangerous plant. We're just pulling things apart here. It's OK. Safety first! So how is an e-recycling plant different to a regular one? Well, with uh, e-waste recycling plants, we actually get in computers and televisions, uh, PCs, laptops, batteries, all these sort of items. But in a regular recycling plant, they deal with paper, cardboard, uh, kitchen refuse, that sort of material. So we deal only with electronic material. So how much e-waste do you guys get? And are you seeing that amount increasing? We see an increase every year of around 6 to 7% increase on 5,000 tonnes initially that we collect. So on every year's 5,000 tonnes, we see a 6% increase on that uh, moving on to each year. That's a lot. That's quite a bit. Well, if you consider, in Australia, we import 140-odd thousand tonnes of technology a year into the country, and that's only PC or television-based material. 140,000 tonnes, and that's growing around about 10% a year every year. So if you're getting an increase of 10% in imports every year, you'd hope you'd see that much in recycling too. You would hope, but that 6% that I base it on is because not everybody recycles. They still hold things in their desk drawers. They've got phones in there and they don't recycle all the time. They hold on to them because they think, I've spent so much money on this device, so they don't let things go easily. So what happens to a device once it gets here? Like, how do you guys break it down? Well, they've got a whole bunch of screwdrivers and drills and uh, pliers, and we pull things apart, and we throw screws in the screw box, and we throw a hard drive in the hard drive box, and we throw the plastics in the plastic box, and it all gets separated because that way we can recover the material in a more pure form. And so therefore it can be reconverted back into original form. Why is it so important to e-recycle? The valuable materials that are contained in products that we receive here, like minerals, rare earths, all sorts of materials that we have to dig out of the ground to recover by obtaining materials from people who decide to dispose of the material in a proper and regulated way, then we're actually saving a lot of money and a lot of the environment by not having to dig up holes in the ground. So can you help me recycle my console? I certainly can. Pass it to me. We'll just go over there to where the dismantlers are and we'll have a go at it now. This is an Xbox for you to dismantle. We're going to pull this apart and uh, separate all the bits and pieces and show the audience what we've got in there. Yeah? His name is Xbox One. It's funny how even though I know that it's going to be broken apart into all its pieces, a part of me is still like, oh no, when like the plastic bits break. I know, I know, but one day this is all going to end up in a place where there's a lot of fire and it's all going to get melted down again. And we've got our DVD drive and a big fan for all the air. And then you can see all the ports, the back of all the ports here too. There's your front panel circuit board. So there's some more steel. Oh, and you can see the um, coolant paste. That's right. That's your hard drive. Oh. Remember this? Yeah. 
Yeah. That's with the cover taken off. And then you can see what's inside. But the majority of the hard drive is aluminium case, which is what the recyclers are really after. There's neodymium special magnets in here, which we can also recover, but that takes a little time. Now, remember, spawnlings, do not try this at home. These guys are experts, and breaking apart your own console can be really dangerous, and you'll definitely void your warranty. What will we do now? Will we take these to where they belong? Yeah, let's the do it. Final destination. Let's do it. OK. So this is where we're going to put the steel. Now, Goodbye. Goodbye, Xbox One. You were a great friend, a great console, and we had great times together. But now it's time for you to move on and become something new. So if you've got old tech that you'd like to e-recycle, hit the website of your local council to find an e-waste drop-off point near you. Or you can even arrange to have it picked up from your house. And if you've got something that still works that you want to dispose of, think about trading it in, selling it online, or donating it to someone so they can get just as much enjoyment out of it as you did. Here, Goose, let me help you e-recycle that. What are you doing? Uh, just, no! Red! <laughs>